Want to output your edit in Final Cut Pro? Well, have I got the command for you. Hey everybody, welcome to Sandy Sundays. I'm Sandy Schwartz, your personal video editing coach. I'm gonna scoop out a little bit of information about Final Cut Pro every Sunday. This is episode number 10. I'm gonna teach you how to export clips from your Final Cut Pro edit. Now let's get to it. This is going to be exporting videos from Final Cut Pro or sharing. Okay, so what we have is a finished timeline here and we want to do an export. There's basically a couple ways to do it. So if I go File, Share, Master Default, this window comes up and this is basically our information window. We're going to go Settings, going to make it ProRes, which is full resolution. So we're going to go to Next, and this is the folder. It's in Sandy Sundays Exports SSEP 010, because this is for, for episode 10 of Sandy Sundays episode 10. And this is what we're calling it because we're using the timeline from episode 9, and it's going to be the master. So we're going to hit Save. And now if you look up here, this is going to start moving in a second. And what this little identifier does, it shows you how far you are in the process. Once this whole thing gets filled up, it's going to be 100%. All right. So now what we can do is we can do the same thing by hitting Command-E. And we can do Settings. And now we can change other properties such as the compression these are these are called codecs and each codec has different types of compression the H264 is the highest amount of compression and it's pretty clean and then we hit next this is what I do for YouTube so I'm going to go tube to UBE and share and there goes the clock again and as you can see, it's going faster than the first time. Now, we have different options in the sharing over here. If we go to share, then we can make it 720p from a 4K file, 1080p, which is one, you know, called 1K, basically. And then we can prepare for Apple devices, prepare for Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, and we can also save curved frame, which is a still frame. Okay, and we can add a destination. Adding a destination is, these are your destinations. Look at that. We've got master file, Apple device 720, 1080. These are all the different settings, just like in the share menu in the file menu. So there are a couple different ways to do this. Now there's one more thing that I wanted to show you. Let's say I wanted to see how some graphic looks. When the next one comes out, I'll be putting out a new video. All right, so I'm going to go R for range. And I hit Command E for share. And we do the settings. Make it ProRes 422. And it's only going to be 621 megs. We hit next. This is going to be the test. And you see how much faster this is going? That's because it's a much smaller file it's creating. And that's pretty fast for a 700 meg file. And then it exports it and shows it to you like that. All right, so that's it. That's exporting your videos or sharing your videos in Final Cut Pro. If you like this video and are new to this channel, subscribe. Click the bell if you want to be notified when the next one comes out. I'll be putting out a new video every Sunday, so watch out for them. Don't forget to press the like button and leave a comment below. I love reading all the comments. Until next time, I'm Sandy Schwartz, your personal video editing coach, and this was Sandy Sundays. See ya! If you want to watch another Sandy Sunday video, click over here. If you want to subscribe, 
click over here. I recommend you do both because you're going to get a lot of great stuff.